see my therapist today. And she told me that I was getting better, that I was climbing up the ladder of my progress chart, that I should write in my journal again tonight. She looked me right in the eye and told me, you're going to be all right. It would have felt good if it were true, but it wasn't. So I told her that I was still lonely. I told her that I never turn off the TV at night because I need some outside noise to drown out the clamor inside me. I told her that I didn't want to hurt myself anymore, that I'm tired of pretending that nothing is hurting me. She asked me what was stopping myself from inflicting myself pain. She looked at me and I could tell that she didn't take me seriously. She doesn't believe that I am beyond lonely just because my arms don't have any scars, but I don't have to cut myself before she could call it self-harm. My thoughts are more than enough to make me bleed by telling myself repeatedly how I'm such a mistake. I will bleed in places no one will see. People die from internal bleeding, so why couldn't my own strength understand me that my wounds go deeper than the thin layer of skin that separates my fears from the rest of the world? Sometimes I hear my thoughts louder than my own heartbeat. I can feel them more alive than the weak and steady pulse on my wrist can rely on them more easily than anyone who's ever claimed to have loved me. Next week, I will see my therapist again. And I will tell her what she wants to hear. Make my voice a little louder and more crisp to hide the echoing emptiness in my chest. I will laugh a little. Tell her what she wants to hear. That I've been writing in my journal again for the past week. But she will never know that this is all I've been writing. No one hears a cry for help if they don't know how to listen.